solve the next problem in the fillet weld what safe load can be can a fillet welded joint shown in figure will carry if the size of the weld is 8 mm and welding is done at a shop here the figure is given as two plates are lap over each other they are made up of fe410 grade steel the width of the smaller plate is given as 75 mm the overlap length is given as 100 mm so it is mentioned about that effective length and the actual weld length so i am considering that weld whatever weld done on this figure is as effective fully effective see 100 mm at the bottom similarly 100 mm at the top 75 mm at the edge 75 mm at the edge so let me calculate the total length of the weld as 100 plus 75 plus 100 totally 275 mm from the figure i have obtained that effective length of the weld as 275 mm then coming to that strength equation for the fillet weld for that you have to refer the class 10.5.7.1.1 page 79 of is 800 let me open that page in the code 10.5.7.1.1 fillet weld where the design strength of the fillet weld equal to fwd equal to fw1 n by e gamma mw fwn if you by root 3 they have directly given the stress value alone to get the strength value we have to multiply this with the area of the weld i will write this equation in a single form strength of the weld fwd equal to f u by root 3 into 1 by gamma m w into area of the weld okay see the equation so i have rewritten that equation as f u by root 3 into 1 by gamma m w into area of the weld area of the weld is nothing but the effective length into throat thickness the effective length already we have calculated from the figure as 275 mm then tw is the throat thickness effective throat thickness that can be obtained by using the relation k into s where k is the constant that value can be obtained from the table 22 in is 800 where s is the size of the weld size of the weld is given in the problem as see size of weld is 8 mm that is given in the problem so the k value is 0 0.7 how i have obtained that value that is obtained from the table 22 page 78 see value of k for different angle between the fuse and faces here the angle between the fuse and face is 90 degree if you done the lab joint and all the angle between the fusion face will be definitely 90 degree uh, all the fillet weld the angle must be between 60 to 90 in special case only the angle will be varied if it is varied means accordingly you can have to use the corresponding k value from this table so for this case the constant k is equal to 0 0.7 so by multiplying 0 0.7 into 8 i will get the throat thickness as 5.6 so i have substituted all the values here except f u and gamma m w what is meant by f u f u is the ultimate tensile capacity ultimate tensile strength that will be the least of the parent metal and weld metal here they didn't given any details about that weld metal they didn't given the strength of the electrode so i am considering that strength of the parent metal here for Fe 410 grade, Fe is 410, then gamma MW, gamma MW is the partial safety factor for the weld that can be obtained from table 5, page number 30 in IS 800. Let me go to that page, table 5, that will provide the partial safety factor for weld, bolt, hmm, all the things, see this one, table 5, partial safety factor for materials. So they have given the partial safety factor for bolt, bearing type, friction type, reverts, welds, 
gamma mw so depending upon the fabrication location we have to use the different values for soft fabrication gamma mw value has to be used as 1.25 for field fabrication it will be 1.5 in our problem they have given that the weld was done at the shop therefore gamma mw value is 1.25 so we have to use the value of 1.25 in this equation now uh, i have substituted all the values in this e expressions 410 by root 3 1 by 1.25 length of the weld is 275 throat thickness is 5.6 then worked out that value as by using this calculator i have get the value as 291.639 kilo newton so from this we can conclude that this joint can safely carry a load up to 291.639 kilonewton actually